So in this example, we're going to use the amount of change formula to approximate the population of the bacteria um, of a certain population. So if we want to do that, we let's read through the problem. We know that the current population of a certain bacteria is 1,808 organisms. It is believed that the bacteria's population is tripling every 12 minutes. Approximate the population of bacteria two minutes from now. So there's a lot of that's going on. We know that a, a certain population has 1,818 organisms. Right. We do know that it's tripling every 12 minutes. And then in order to answer the question, I assume that's going to be one of the last things we do. I think the first thing we need to do is grab um, a model. So let's go ahead and start with the amount of change formula. So the amount of change formula is given to us by P of A plus H, right, there's some sort of change from your original value, and that is going to be approximately value of the, po the population or the bacteria population at that original value A plus its rate of change times the change. So we do know a couple of things. We do know that if we allow A to be equal to zero, that P of A, which is P of zero, is going to be that initial 1,818 bacteria, uh, organisms, bacteria, organism bacteria. <laughs> we also know that the po bacteria's population is tripling every 12 minutes. This would mean that if we had um, 12 minutes gone by, we know that this initial value would have tripled, right? We don't really know the function itself. We haven't modeled that, right? We All we have is the amount of change formula. And we know if we start the population at time zero, that that bacteria was given to be um, 1,818 1, organisms. And at zero time, t equals zero, right, we have this many organisms. But if the population is tripling every 12 minutes, that means when 12 minutes go by, that initial population of 1,818 has tripled. Right? And that we, then we can see that relationship. Right? So let's go ahead and do that. So that would mean that 3 times 1,818. We can do that in the calculator, right? 3 times 1,818. Enter. So 54, 54. All right, so we have some pieces of information here, right? So we have, I went, let's highlight. We know this and we know this, and now we know this. All right. So let's go ahead now. Um, we need now, if we look, so we have P of A, right, right there. Um, next, we need the rate of change at A. So now we need to estimate P prime of A, which is P prime of 0, right? The rate of change at A equals 0, time equals 0. Okay, well, we know this, right? This is just rate of change. So P prime of 0 is just equal to um, P of 12 minus P of 0 all over 12 minus 0. So then we have 54, 54 minus 18, 18 all over 12 minus 0, which is 12. Okay, so if we went ahead and did that in the calculator, so we'll go ahead and take 54, 54 minus 18, 18, parenthesis, and divide that by 12, we should get a nice number, yeah, 303. 
So the rate of change at t equals 0 is 303, and we could say bacteria per, and then the time, which would be minutes, if we needed to understand it more. <clears throat> all right, let me highlight this, because we need this all for the information, right? OK, the last piece, and as you would know, and you probably see, you're like, what's H? Like, we see that we have this piece, which is here, right? P of A, which is here. Now all we have left is um, this piece, H, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and find H. And what we're doing is just finding all the pieces of the amount of change formula, and then we can finally answer the question. And this won't be too bad, because if we let A plus H be two minutes from now, so don't forget that we're looking for a T equal two. Let me highlight that right here. So if we need t to be equal to 2, that means this piece here has to be, I did that, I highlighted too much, there we go, <laughs> that time has to be 2, right? So um, let me go ahead and put our goal here at the top. So our goal in the end is always to find p of 2. Right? But we don't have any information about 2. right? All, we don't even have the function. If we have the function, we plug and chug. But we're using calculus and the amount of change formula to actually f estimate after 2 minutes how much bacteria would be in my population. So I can go ahead and say, well, if I need this piece to be 2, right, then A plus H must equal 2. I know what A is, and I know what I need A plus H to be, but I don't know H. So let's put what A is. We know that A is 0 plus H equals 2, right? And then we can see that H is actually just equal to 2 at this point. Okay, so now we have it, right? Uh, this is great because now we can go ahead and answer the question, which is number 4i. So now we can answer the question. So p of 2 is equal to p of uh, 0 plus 2, which is a plus h. This is approximately, and let me go ahead and write that. This is a plus h. I'm going to align it for you. And that's approximately p of 0 plus p prime of 0 times h, which is 2. So let me write it here. Here is a p prime of a times h. So you can see how that's all working. OK, I know p of 0. This is equal to 1818 plus p prime of 0, which was 303. So I'm going to highlight this pink. Right. times 2. So if I did this in the calculator, right, I can go back and hit 18, 18 plus 303 times 2, and we'll get the approximation of 24, 24. So what does this mean? That means that uh, after two minutes, the number of organisms, right, the population of bacteria is about 2,424 organisms.